I went out fishing with my good buddy Max and our goal was to find giant schools of migrating bait fish along the beach. There were huge tarpon and other large predators feeding on these schools and it didn't take us long to find one. Big pod of tarpon, dude. Giant pod. Dude, you're good, you're good. Good, that's, that's in the fish. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what to do, okay? Leave them right there, leave them right there. They're drifting too quick. Re fish. Re reel a little bit, reel a little bit, reel them a little bit. Dude, dude, they're going, they're going for it, they're going for it. Did, did they eat it? They're looking no. for your thready. Reel it, reel it, reel it. No, they didn't eat it. Dude, they're looking for it. Recast it right now, recast it. Reel it in and recast it, dude. Out, out in front to the left? Yeah, yeah, just cast it right over here. Cast it, cast, 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 to the left, to the left. Reel, reel it, reel it. Stop, stop, right there. Oh, you bum. He turned away? Yeah, all right, we spooked him. Let's land the drone. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. That's tarpon. Black tip. Here, heads up real quick. See him still? Black tips everywhere. Thought he started going left. Yeah, he's going left, straight towards my bait. Now we're in the real fish, dude. Tippers. Oh, he's gonna go right past my bait, right now. He's right there, you see him cruising left? Right there? Yo, yes. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. No. Oh, oh, oh. He might turn to it. He might turn on it, he might turn on it. Oh, yeah. oh, he ate you. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, that's an instant break. You gotta let him eat it, bro. Dude, I did. No, you can't let him eat it. You gotta just set it right yeah, away. Yeah, you gotta set it right away. Okay, hold on here. All right, it's coming right at us right here on the right. Throw it like, right at your three. Oh my gosh. Oh my Throw gosh. it in front of him, in front of him. Oh yeah, 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 he's right underneath it, dude. While we were fishing for sharks, Max hooked a jackal ball and we decided to keep it for bait. At that moment, we realized that we needed more bait for shark fishing. So we decided to go offshore to a nearby wreck and look for blue runners. We came out here to catch bait for black tip sharks. The black tips are super thick right now, which is kind of crazy because it's summertime. But anyways, so we're at the spot where the goliaths are, that's where the bait is, and we just saw a bunch of goliaths, and gosh, you know, I, I just can't not come out here and not try to catch one. I only got a spinning rod. It's gonna be absolutely miserable. Let's give it a shot. Oh, oh it's all over. Oh gosh, there he is, there he is. Oh, that's a big one. Oh no, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? <laughs> look at the look, look at the scars on him. <laughs> why? Why am I doing this to myself? I'm trying, dude. I don't know if you realize how strong this thing is. You gotta stop driving, dude. You're gonna cut me off. Max, can you help? Get over here. Get over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the rod. I'm done, dude. Help me. Help me pull, help me pull the rod. Pull the rod. Pull the rod, pull the rod. Pull the rod up. Right. Come on. Pull. Pull. I can't move, I know, dude. I know, I know. Jeez. Why? Why? <laughs> Why did I do that? Gosh. What a guy. Jeez. All right. Let's go catch a nice, humble black tip now. Oh, man. I love catching goliaths, but not on spinning tackle. No, now I'm gonna have back pain for like a week. Ugh. 
So I've regained my strength from the Goliath. Fighting those things on spin is no walk in the park. But now we're fishing for black tips. We got our bait. Max is fishing for snook. And earlier we saw about 50 to 100 black tips. So we know they're here. I got a blue one on my line. Let's see who gets the first bite. Here he comes. He's on it. He's on it. Is he on your bait? No. I don't know what he's doing. He's right there, though. Look at that. What is this, dude? Oh, gosh. You got a shark? Dude, I don't know what this is. Oh, my gosh. Well, it ate a dead bait on the bottom. It should be a shark. Yeah, I think it's a ray. You think it's a ray? Yeah. Hopefully, it comes no, with a... No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. He's back over here. What a weird fish. Fighting all weird? Dude, this is weird, man. It's not sticking on the bottom. Is it a trolling motor engaged or is he dragging us? No, he's dragging us. He's dragging us? Yes. Oh my gosh. On a, you know what? It could be a hammerhead, dude. They fight like that? Well, I'm he's caught. just going I'm, slow, man. He's like he doesn't care, you know? It might be a stingray then, dude. He, yeah, dude, that's a stingray, dude. You think it's gonna be? It's... Dude, if it's a rough tail, I'm gonna freak out, man. If it's a what? A rough tail. I've never caught one before. A rock tail? A rough tail. A rough, rough tail. tail stingray? It's like one of my. Really? Dude, a dream fish of mine. Are they like in this area? Largest stingray that you can catch in Florida. Hmm. Largest stingray right. in North America. Never heard of it. Dude, well, we, okay. we haven't even seen this thing. Dude, I can already tell you, I'm outmatched. Like, this is it's like big, black huh? tip gear. Like, I know we were messing with the Goliath area, but that's not, you're not supposed to do that. Wait, is that the short rod that we were fighting the grouper on? Yeah. Oh my. Dude. Yeah. We literally hooked, almost caught a 500 pound grouper on that rod Yeah, this earlier. fish weighs, this fish is way bigger than that. Dude, I'm telling you, this is something weird. We got one little problem right now. That, it's headed our way. Lightning, not fun to fish in. I hope we can get whatever this is up before yeah. that comes our way. I'll tell you one thing, this thing is, dude. Yeah. this is this is big time, dude. I'm just having trouble. Look at, like, look at that, look at that, look at that. I can't even move them. I'm just having trouble thinking about it. I can't even is. move them. That Goliath earlier was insane, but look at that. That's I mean, unbelievable. This is, I mean, he's kind of staying down like he could be a Goliath. He ate a dead bait on the bottom. It's not a shark. 100% it's not a shark. No, it's some weird dude. He's driving us around, towing yeah, the boat. He's got us in this current. This is, a, this is what we call a sea monster, folks. We don't know what it is yet. And this is the beautiful thing about fishing the ocean. Is you never know what you're going to hook out here. Yeah, 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 get some pumps. Go, 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 go left, go left, go left. Two years ago, when I was with John B and Lunkers and Captain Chansey and Alex Perrick, we hooked an extremely rare sawfish. Oh, and, dude. Dude, I'm starting to believe that two years later, a rare fish like that has just happened again. Dude, dude, you might have just, one on bro, there. Bro, this thing's almost a thousand pounds, bro. I don't, I don't Dude, uh, disagree. Look, I hooked that Goliath through and I could stop him. He was four or 500 pounds. Yeah. This thing, I can't move it. Yeah, now that you say that, dude, I'm actually starting to think this might be a sawfish. Dude, the head shakes are insanely violent. Yeah, then that's, dude, that's probably a sawfish. These, yeah. Look at this thing, dude. That would make a lot of sense, actually. I mean, it's so heavy. Dude, it's dragging the boat wherever it wants to yeah, go. It, I'm almost like, I'd almost bet money that it's a sawfish, dude. It's probably a big one, too. Oh, no. Yeah. Not so really. we're in a 17 foot boat, and we could have a fish on it longer than the boat. It could be 17, 18 feet. If we see him, I got to call uh, FWC to report it. Yeah, we have to call. We got to call FWC immediately. We got to follow all the steps. Yeah. All the steps, guys. It's an endangered species. Okay, maybe just moving a little bit. It's an ancient fish. Dude, ancient. look at that. That is ridiculous. It's a dinosaur. That is ridiculous, bro. It is bro. literally a dinosaur. This thing's close to a thousand pounds. I mean, it's crazy. You gonna go this way a little bit with the current? Dude, like, like, if you didn't know any better, you'd think you were snagged. Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just started dumping you, like right now. Like that, that like that. You think, you think, you, you think you, you have, you're stuck in the bottom. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just does that. Come on, Josh, show us this thing. Show us what this thing is. He's coming up. What is I it? I see him, I see him, I see him. You see him? I see, I see color. Hold on. He's coming. Uh, there you go. There you go. Pump that. Oh, oh it's a sawfish. Oh my god. It's a sawfish. Dude, did you see the size of that thing? Dude, he's huge. Oh my god. All right, I got to call FWC. That's confirmed. What the heck, man? We're that thing is longer than this boat. This is, how big is this boat? 17, 9. 
to 18 feet. That saw was like two feet thick. That saw is so dangerous, guys. If you get close to that thing, that thing could one second could kill you. You gotta be so, this is the most dangerous fish, by far the most dangerous fish in the world to handle. Dude, this thing is buoy 19. <laughs> Dude, I knew those head shakes were from a sawfish, man. That thing is too dang strong. Uh, there you go, dude. There you go. Go come up. There he is. Dude, that thing is huge. Oh. Can't move him. Oh Can't freaking move him. Wait, I need to see where he's going. Dude, he's over a thousand pounds. I need to see where he's going, dude. He's going under the boat, dude. Pay attention. Yeah. Uh, drive, drive away. Drive away. Drive away when I'm pumping. Drive it away. You gotta. Here he is. Here he is. Oh my. Oh, dude. He's huge. Dude, that is a dinosaur. It's a literal go. dinosaur. Like it's been around. Drive away, drive dinosaur. away, drive away, drive away, drive away, drive away. I am, I am. Gosh. Dude, I don't like this. It's 13 feet deep here still. So this might be a rock wall. Gosh, I have no leverage. Ah. <sighs> There he is. Oh, oh my gosh. Him. He's whoop. Hey, take me in. You're in five feet, take me in, take me in. I am, I am. Hold on, he's coming this way. I gotta make a swift turn. Hold on. This is a really delicate situation. He's gonna go towards the back of the boat right here. Here, I'm, I'm jumping out, bro, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I need to go further down the beach. Get the boat away from this. That's it. Didn't like that angle. Gosh. That hurts. It wasn't until the following day that I realized the pain of losing this fish. I mean, in the moment I was like, ah, but then just it settled in and I think I went back and looked at the footage, guys, and I think my knot failed. The FG knot, I should have tied a PR knot, but that FG knot, it went through the guides probably a good, I don't know, 50 times, and it just wore down. The, the PR knot is a much stronger knot than the FG knot. I know they sound the same. They're very different. One of them requires a tool, one of them doesn't. And you know, the reality was I wasn't fishing for something this big. I wasn't trying to catch something that was over a thousand pounds. It just, this is what happens. Fishing in the ocean, you never know what you're gonna hook. And unfortunately, the knot just wore down and that last, you know, I was pulling as hard as I could that last second. He took a run, he, he shook his rostrum and just like that, it was gone, it was over. And man, I'll tell you what, I mean, like I said, it was definitely not the right tackle for a fish of that size, of that caliber, but it was really awesome to see one of those again. I mean, it's such a rare fish. So, I mean, I'm very grateful to have that experience, but it's that, that's fishing guys, to lose a fish like that. Like I always tell people, I remember the fish I lost more than the fish I caught, and that is one that's never gonna leave my mind. So until I see one next time, I'm always gonna have that fish in my head. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out Max McKinley from Max Out Charters. I couldn't have gotten as far as I did without him, so check him out, link in the description. Also guys, make sure you turn on your post notifications. If you guys wanna watch more of our videos, post notifications will help you out. Make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, it really helps out, just tap that like button right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.